Today, we showcase an innovation of a young man. Um, he's out of high school, went into college at Northern Technical College, Notec in Indola. Could not continue owing to certain factors, which he'll be able to uh, get into as we go on on the show. But he's got an amazing um, uh, kind of innovation that which speaks to what the world wants to go to now. Let's simply go there. Alex Mlenga is in studio for me. Bring it on, bro. Yeah, move it. There it is. I love the sound of it. Great. Before we go around it, tell us what this is. So what you see on display here is an electric vehicle that uh, moves with electricity only. So uh, drivers won't have to buy fuel, which is petrol or diesel, for their cars to move on the road. So this car only requires electricity to move the vehicle from one place to another. So for argument's sake, these cars are already there. Yes. What makes this one different? So first of all, the number one aspect I'm looking at is the, lo the, the locality of the product. Okay. So Zambia has enough resources and materials and the training and the knowledge we need to produce this electric cars. Mm -hmm. So the first aspect that we have hammered is the vehicle is local. Okay. Yes. So the vehicle is local. Seventy-five percent of the materials that are used. All right. Used no, uh, just stand local. that side so that we can have the car in, in in the middle. So you are saying the beauty about this car is that you don't need to import it. You don't need you, to import it. We have the it. knowledge in new people that are able to to put it together. Yes. So we can be able to to make it from within the country. Yes. From and I absolutely country. agree with you. So what's the composition? Can you go further down that side just a little? All right. Yeah. So the composition of this car, mm -hmm. first of all, on top you can see there's a solar panel, okay, which is although it's relatively small, mm -hmm. but with some advancement, we'll be able to put a bigger one. So we're looking at the climatic um, conditions we have in the southern part of Africa, which is mostly sunny. So we are taking advantage of the renewable energy from the sunlight that will be able to charge these vehicles as we park them. So you also have a pack of batteries that are responsible for storing the charge that we are using to move the car. Mm -hmm. So of course it has a motor to provide the motion for the vehicle as well as electronics that is responsible for the transfer of power from the batteries to the motors. Mm. In case yes. someone is arguing that this is not a Zambian made, how can yes. you convince them? Mm, I, I would say if you do some others will say no tires tires you just got oh yeah yes the mirror is there yes you just got oh yeah <laughs> and you know pretty much the solar panel yes uh -huh. so if you look at automobile industries even from the western world mm -hmm. they don't do everything they don't manufacture everything at one company so i'll give you for example toyota it's not everything that is manufactured by toyota they have partnered with other companies that in are different countries. Yes, in different countries that are specialized to make different spare parts. But uh, the overall product of that vehicle is uh, Toyota owned. Mm -hmm. So I do not need to use everything Zambian because speciality and quality of materials matters as well. Absolutely. Yes. I agree with you. So in there, do you have an engine that's already made or you had to make it from scratch? So since this is an electric car, it doesn't have the engine, just an electric motor. That's the only difference between electric cars, purely electric cars, and conventional counterparts vehicles, which mm -hmm. are petrol or diesel powered vehicles. So electric cars, they just have an electric motor which draws power from the batteries to drive the, uh, the vehicle. And then conventional vehicles, they need power from the engine, combustion engine, to drive the vehicle. So this vehicle does not have any engine, it's just an electric motor.